All right, welcome to this month's networking session. So we do this on a monthly basis. My name is Raghav. I'm the host for today's session and also the founder of the Startup Club. The Startup Club is an initiative that we started about a year and a half ago. And we basically started off as a like an you know, online virtual community. And now we're trying to get into the, you know, like live event spaces. So we're trying to conduct these networking sessions and panel discussions and workshops and things like this in college campuses and things like that. Uh, we, our goal is to basically create this ecosystem or a community space or like a support system for entrepreneurs. And that's missing uh, in a lot of spaces outside of Bangalore. In Bangalore, you see a lot of people having these like uh, weekend events and social spaces where people in the uh, startup ecosystem connect and network and all this. But outside of that, like a lot of people are like missing this uh, support system. So we're trying to establish that on, on a national scale. Uh, we're at a very, very, very early stages. So we've been doing this on a, on a virtual scale for the past year and a half. And we will be... Um, you know, we're starting to do this more in, in the event spaces in Chennai uh, because that's where I'm based. And we're, we're trying to also establish connects in Hyderabad and Bangalore. So if anybody's interested in like, you know, volunteering and like setting up, you know, helping us to expand this like uh, support structure, I would, I would love to hear from you. So with that said, uh, let's talk about like, you know, what this session is. So every month we conduct this like networking session. Can you guys hear me? Okay, so somebody's saying this audio is not audible, but but uh, I think it's some, something at your end. Please uh, make sure that you have connected to the right audio. Okay, now, so yeah, every month we conduct these networking sessions where we just connect on a Zoom call and talk about ourselves, our journey, what we're looking for, and see if we can make some connections during the call. So the way this will go is like every person will get like minute or two to, you know, like give uh, give everybody the background of like what they're doing and what kind of challenges they're facing and what they're looking for. And we will have like, you know, impromptu conversations as well. So I'll first go and introduce myself and then people can, you know, uh, volunteer to introduce themselves as well. So my name is Raghav, like I said, and I'm based in Chennai. I, I have a bachelor's in neuroscience. I studied in the US and I came back to India 10 years ago and I've been in the IT space since then. And for the past, I have like 10 years of experience in the software industry. And last year I quit my job as a technical business analyst to start my own startup. But that's my second startup. My first startup is a nonprofit. Uh, we work in the ed tech space. Like I'm trying to like reform the entire educational ecosystem in a very completely different way from what other people are doing. A lot of ed tech companies are uh, in a for-profit space. So we are trying to like create like a non-profit, complete revamping of the of the educational apparatus. So that was my first non-profit that was uh, called Shruti, Shruti Trust. And I, that's been running on for the five, for five years. And last year, uh, this year, I started my second startup. It's called Vivada Tech. We're basically a SaaS product company. We're building a mobile app right now to facilitate... Uh, <laughs> networking in the startup ecosystem. So as I've been running the startup club for the past year and a half, I've noticed a huge pain point, which is that people have a hard time finding each other. And even the reason, very reason that you guys are in this call is because you have a necessity of some kind and you're looking for somebody, right? And and the use cases are like any, anywhere between like a, 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 a aspiring founder trying to find a co-founder or it is like a founder trying to find an investor or they're trying to find a marketing agency or a legal partner or an AI partner or a cons like, you know, consultant uh, who is expert in a certain domain, or they're looking for a mentor, they're looking for, uh, you know, like legal assistance or, or chartered accountant services. All of these are requirements for any founder. And the goal for our application is to basically minimize the amount of time you're, you're, you're spending in pursuing these right connections. Because, uh, you know, I've spent like, I usually when I, whenever, every time I go to a higher a round of hiring, I spend like two to three weeks dedicated full time into like, you know, isolating the right candidates and picking them up and then like putting them in. And that's a, that's a really challenging thing to replace because you're the executive in your, in your company and you have to make the decisions. And so you can't delegate that to somebody else. So what ends up happening is that you spend so much time to, to pick these, make these right connections that it's a loss of time. So we are building a product that will optimize your time in narrowing down and shortlisting the right candidates in making an effective choice and do all of these things in one one space because right now if you want to find a co-founder you go to one spot if you want to find a marketing agency you just google and you go for the referrals a lot of people just do use referrals and i think that's a ineffective way to find the best option for you because if you explore you will find the right uh, option that actually matches your needs in the right budget and everything 
and same for the for the service providers they're also trying to find the right startups so it's a it's a pain point that i've seen pervasively in the industry so that's why we're building this mobile app to sort of facilitate this like connections between the right people so that's a little bit of background about me uh so I, right now i'm doing a full time you know like entrepreneurship like i'm just running my company full time i have a team uh, they build the product i take care mm-hmm. of the business side of things okay. so this is me um anybody who would like to go next you can just like a uh, so i would like to see like people raise their hands you can see that below there is a reaction button if you click on the reaction button you'll you'll see an option to raise hand and if you do that you can get in a queue and then people can go in the in the order that they raise their hands so who would like to go next just raise your hand and you can go next and guys please don't be shy uh, this is you you're here purely to like you know network and net- networking has like two components one you have to basically you know like you're discovering the other people but also you have to be discoverable only when you put yourself out there you will be discovered so don't hesitate rahan please go ahead hello quick gear check am i audible yes yeah you can see me too right yes yes okay hi all so i am rahan sharma currently working as a senior software engineer in jibra technologies i am based out of bangalore belendur location currently i am working from uh, so i am here in the call as raghav mentioned right like uh, for networking mostly i am working on my product which is currently in prototype phase so the product is mostly related to iot system so like for water conservation and all for the ro systems i am trying to bring that out uh, apart from that like i like to i am looking for some enthusiastic co-founder to like who can join me in my vision of making this bring to every home uh, so product as i told about right it's idea mostly on the iot devices and things like that so we have couple of products planned uh, to be released soon website is under construction like uh, it's it's getting built i am mostly currently solo running this even in the hardware software like end to end uh my technical expertise goes around i am a kind of full stack developer with some background even in electronics and things like that so that's why i am coming up with this uh so like i like to hear from others what they do and like to kind of build my network here so that we can connect and see how it goes yeah thanks a lot rahan uh, just a quick clarification so w- whenever you guys introduce yourself tell tell us about like wh- where you are located and also what what your background is and also uh, exactly what you are doing and what you are looking for so rahan you you did a great job uh, summarizing the whole thing uh, one clarification i have is like you said you're looking for a potential co-founder uh, do you yeah. have a certain requirements as to who this person is like uh, t- t- tell us about like what industry or what skill sets should they have and also what kind of experience do they have should they have so mostly i take care of the technical things but getting it out to the customers would be the another kind of skill which i'll be looking to because uh, most of the technical things i am currently managing solo and it's getting too much work on my head to be taking driving it all alone from operations i am even talking to the suppliers because it's a hardware oriented iot system right so i'm talking to uh, supplier although i have put a good supply chain in place i have a contractor who are kind of manufacturing product for me website would be live so those all things are streamlined but i'm still looking for someone who can add value and kind of drive this because moving in this ecosystem startup ecosystem alone is kind of i'm 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 not currently full time dedicated to it as i said in start i'm working in some company so there also as per load basis i have to do adjusting of flaps we say right so You know, Rahan, to... I'm, I'm honestly super impressed with the, whatever you've done. You're working full time, and you're a solo founder, yeah. and you're you you getting to a point where you're already like ready with the product, the prototype, and that's as as impressive. Uh, so congratulations on that. The second thing, yeah. from from my advice, I would say that like it's actually advisable that you actually don't do it alone because I made that mistake very early on, and it was costly because like the moment you stop having the bandwidth, the entire operation stops. Exactly, and you, you and... cannot predict these things. and given that it is a hardware in like based business at start i i do have a plan to go for a saas service in future once i sell my hardware right but the thing is 
I am kind of investing of my own. I might look for a fundraising in coming future once I have some sales, some set of revenue, some pre-orders right in place. Mm -hmm. Probably that time I'll be looking. So that is where the co-founder will eventually help me to get yeah, so that initial seed funding and things like that. So you, I, I would summarize that saying that like you, you're looking for somebody with business background and market, uh, go to market experience. Uh, yeah. With a, with a referral or some kind of a network so that like you can leverage that. The other thing is, have you registered your startup? So my startup is registered, but uh, the, the the initial startup which is registered was with the other guys, other two guys, which is kind of uh, not done very well. I think it's going to close because we couldn't generate revenue. So this is kind of more of a solo venture. I have to register it. Okay. So once should... I have the product. Yeah, you should because like, but, but the moment you have like a DPIIT certificate, you can actually uh, seek government uh, funding yeah. and also incubation and things like that. You can actually leverage those things. I would highly recommend that you approach an incubator um, so that like you can actually, they have a, you know, a lot for a lot of uh, software companies, you, you don't get incubation that easily. It's mostly the hardware that you, that you get like support from government, depending on which location you're in. I mean, if you're based in, if you're registering in yeah, Bangalore, there are, there are like, you know, a proper uh, support structure in the incubators. They, they are looking for, you know, uh, hardware uh, companies to actually incubate. So you would, you would have an easy attempt, but do register and get the DPIT certificate done so that you can actually get the government subsidized grants as well. So that, that would be my advice to you. So thank you so much for sharing Rahan. Uh, I see a couple of people uh, next in the line. One thing, uh, Raghav, if you can update the Telegram link, it would be great. So Actually, what that's expired. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the link to the official website in the chat. And yeah. over there, you will find all the all the links to all of our locations. We are on multiple platforms. Um, yes, yes. So okay. please go and have a look at that and just before i end like one last thing i have a kind of survey going to check the market interest of the product it will hardly take five minutes so i'll so really you, you can put it in the in the in the telegram channel so whatever requirements you have like i would i would advise you put it in the telegram channel so that like people sure. can discover that and, and help you out i see a couple of people in the line i just want to remind people i just want to remind people that please if you want to go next to introduce yourself please raise your hand you can do that by clicking on the react button in the, at the bottom and then like uh, clicking on raise hand and we will be going on in the sequence of like when people raise their hand. So please do raise your hand. Don't forget that. Uh, Prasad, please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hey, Raghav. Oh, good morning, everyone. And also, if I can remind you, please also turn on your camera so that we can see face to face when we are, when you're introducing yourself, that'd be really helpful. Uh... Raghav, some maybe camera, I have camera issues. I can't... Uh... Okay, go. Uh, no worries. Go ahead. Yeah. So myself, Prasad, uh, uh, I represent a company called Next Space Technologies. So it's a service-based IT company. Uh, uh, we do develop customized mobile apps and web applications. Uh, so that's one part of the area. And other part, like we also have four products, uh, tech products. Uh, one is related to electronic voting. Uh, it's a digital voting platform. So we are helping communities, associations, mostly and basically uh, from Hyderabad, means companies from Hyderabad. So uh, we we are helping clubs, associations in there in Hyderabad to conduct their elections in a digital way, number one. Number two, we have another product related to uh, non-profits, uh, kind of ERP for non-profits, I can say. So that we, we are helping a couple of NGOs. Uh, we already uh, uh, clients onboarded for that product as well. So I can say uh, all the four products which I'm telling is kind of MVP is done. Uh, three products is MVP is done and uh, we are already in the market. We have a couple of clients for each and every product. So the third product is related to a survey. Uh, survey again, we are not uh, help, means we are helping to the government agencies mostly. So through our survey application, three government Telangana government uh, service has happened already. So uh, that's again, Survey basically will have four steps, uh, data tracking, monitoring, visualization, and uh, documentation kind of stuff. So on that four stages, we are helping to the government agencies mostly. That is the third one. And fourth one, uh, there is a product called Workstat. Uh, it's currently, we are working on it. And mostly by Jan, it will be in the uh, market. So uh, that's basically the background of the company. And we are a, a 40 plus team. Uh, we are all in Hyderabad, but currently I'm staying in Bangalore. Just 10 days back, I came to Bangalore for a conference and uh, wanted to stay more time to explore and meet the people here. Okay. So mostly I'm looking for uh, product-wise, we are working. Like uh, 
we are adding a lot of modules into that when we are working on the marketing sales and all. But the service aspect, uh, I'm I'm looking to connect with a couple of sales groups or uh, people who is in who is good in tech sales mostly. So uh, that is the reason even I just joined in the group now. Okay, Prasad, congratulations for your all your product MVPs and stuff. A couple of questions I have for you is like when when you say you have like a team of 40 and, and you're doing these things, what is your primary source of revenue to sustain this 40, 40 member team? Yeah, uh, Raghav, that as I said, like 20, out of 40, mostly 20 are working in services, 20 are uh, uh, working in products. So services, of course, we do application development, as I said. Mm. So that is a mostly the revenue part. and But even the products which we already developed, having a couple of clients, even we are getting the revenue from those, that MVP uh, stage products is also. So oh, you're getting product revenue from the products as well? Yeah, yeah, correct. We already, because as I said, like for survey three, already government service we have done, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, of course, it's, uh, we're not getting very huge uh, uh, amount of revenue, but mm -hmm. we have decent clients for each and every product now. Okay, all right. So you're, you, you said you're looking for sales executives or people who can actually help you you know, bring your market, bring your product to the market, right? Get get it, get them to the right people who who will actually purchase the product or something, right? Correct. Product and even the service area also, as I said, like twenty folks are working on services, right? Developing customer applications. So uh, even that area, of course, we are not as strong in sales and marketing currently. But uh, mm -hmm. towards that, I'm looking. We are even though we are good in tech, uh, mm -hmm. we need help in marketing and sales now. See, when you have like a certain target like that, do you need to have certain criteria as to who are the, what what kind of profile are you looking for? Like, for example, let's say that you're you're for a for a certain product, you're looking for um a certain prospective client, let's say, now or customer or whatever it is. So you must have a certain idea as to what kind of a person would qualify that 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 criteria, right? So, for example, if you're if you're a B two B company, uh, you if you're looking for clients. Uh, in other companies, then you need to know that, okay, uh, the, the people who are probably likely to purchase my product are people who are the companies that are like at least two years old, have like this much revenue, uh, these many company size, depending on the nature of your product. Do you have like metrics like that already analyzed saying that, okay, these are the kind of people that I'm looking for as a, as a client or a, a, a customer? Uh, yes, Raga. Mostly uh, at present, I I'm staying in Bangalore and reaching, re reaching out to a couple of NGOs mostly because mm -hmm. uh, NGO product is uh, most most likely the first product I can say out of all, all four, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which is ready to sell because a couple of NGOs are already using. So mm -hmm. NGOs, again, uh, I have seen NGOs who is uh, who need the tech basically and who, who is ready to invest on technology. So the that is where like... We want the people who can reach out to the NGOs or who has the connections with the NGOs and can uh, help us to connect with them. Okay, okay. So maybe you can you can like summarize those requirements in the Telegram channel and you know like we can that can help you out because we have about like some eight hundred people in the Telegram channel and some of those could be your prospective customers or clients or even like people who can help you reach those people. There are people in the marketing uh, side of things that can help you out as well. So thanks a lot, Prasad. I see Hitesh, you have raised your hand, but uh, I just want to remind everybody else that if you want to participate and, and just like, uh, you know, introduce yourself to the group, please raise your hand. I've taken a screenshot and posted in the chat. Have a look at that. You have to like click on the react button and raise your hand. Uh, the telegram link is in the official website link. And I've also pasted that it's the startup club dot info. Just go to the browser and type the startup club dot info, and you'll get our telegram channel along with all the other things that we have out there. So next Hitesh, please go ahead. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Hitesh here. I'm from Hyderabad. Okay. So little background about myself. So uh, I'm into technical stuff. Uh, started my career as a, you know, in quality assurance and I slowly moved up as an engineering manager. I have resigned from my job uh, last month. So from this month, I'm completely focusing on the startup. Again, uh, the, the idea is, you know, I'll give a couple of months for myself and work on something. If it goes good, then fine. If not, then I'll go back to something or I'll do something. I'll figure it out something. What could be the best thing, right? Uh, there are two other co-founders with me. Uh, they are the tech persons. I am. I take care of the other part uh, in the uh, product. That is what I'm learning. I'm networking. I'm building network. I'm learning and everything. Okay. Now coming to the startup. 
so we are we are building a B two C application currently it's a web app that we are building it. So that's uh, you know mostly related to building a travel community, and this travel community is specifically focused on the uh, user base who are you know bikers or car enthusiasts. For example, people who travel by bike or car across you know the cities, the places, and everything, right? So the focus is for them, the community that I'm building it. Uh, because you see there are a lot of travel communities available up front over there in the market as such. So you will be just one odd if you're trying to focus that. So my niche I focused on that because I personally am that, right? I'm a biker, plus I travel long via cars and everything. So uh, that's what. So we have started building an MVP. MVP is a small thing where we have built a virtual garage stuff. Uh, mostly it will be out by December uh, mid uh, with that and we are also started working on the community part uh, completely so yeah that's it so I'm here just to uh, network find you know uh, people who could you know any suggestions or anything or you know just to build a network there's nothing specific as such as of now that I would say I need this I need that so everything I'm able to figure it out uh, there's a reason I'm full-time on this right mother co-founders are not I'm full-time because you know there's a lot of things to figure it out from marketing to this, from GTM plan. So currently in progress of making GTM plan and then, you know, I'll be preparing pitch deck something, you know, so a lot of things from figuring it out and, you know, I'm liking the journey over there. I just here to build network and, you know, uh, build like-minded people. So anyone in uh, Hyderabad as well, uh, you know, we could meet. It's something that I'm looking forward. You know, we can just go for a cup of tea or something and we can discuss on the things and all. Sure. Thanks a lot, Hitesh. Just to, as a question about your product, you're, you're trying to connect, uh, I guess, like people who want to travel together? No, so that's that could be one of the things that, you know, will be part of the product. So basically, it's more of a uh, travel community. For example, say someone wants to go from uh, Hyderabad to Ladakh. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there are a couple of things, right? First thing is the community will have like kind of team here, great questions and answers where someone who already traveled will write his experiences. And anyone will say that, okay, if you want to travel to Ladakh, what are the gear requirements? What kind okay, of like, like advisory and things like that in a preparation it's a community, like it's a QA, yeah. like team BHP, like people will post a question ki, how to take care of your bike, you face issues in your bike, uh, which roads are better and everything, right? And there'll be like local meetups you can organize. So how would you you know, how would you distinguish that from existing alternatives? What is the what is USP for your product? So existing alternatives are scattered, right? Like MPSP is very old and it is only for this community. And you have something meetup app where, you know, you could organize bike rides. Like I do bike rides organized in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. So I use team meetup only for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the communication then happens by WhatsApp groups and everything. So it's mostly com combination of all, right? You add your vehicle, then you do a community. Then there's something group kind of stuff where, you know, you can have a groups, uh, you can do it. Uh, niche groups also, and, you know, kind of connecting people around. For but, the example, who are the travelers around, I'll try to connect them. Mostly the people get connected in directly and indirectly, but even I'll help doing that and in, in that way, the idea is. But, you know, one of the things is that like, I mean, I've seen so many people use Reddit for this. Reddit has been a really good good place for people to socialize in topic-based um, discussions. Like, you know, it, uh, tourism is one of the subreddits. Yes. And you could have like, a, uh, there is a, there are subreddits for people looking for personal ads. Like they'll say like, I, I want a travel companion. And they'll post an ad, they'll say, these are my requirements and they'll, somebody will reach out to them. And they're also like, you know, uh, vehicle specific uh, subreddits talking about like bikes. You have a, a separate subreddit talking about bikes, how, how to get the advice. So how would you differentiate yourself from these, this kind of a, you know, system, just a larger network of people, right? One of the, one of the biggest challenges for you is going to be like getting that community on your platform. First of all, what is the point of me that having would be, a, that would be pretty easier for me because I'm myself from that community. Right. But, but, uh, I guess like, you know, you may have your own circles, but I'm talking about competing with a larger platform. Like Reddit. Definitely. That's what I'm working on currently. That's what I'm, you know, preparing and learning things. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to do it. There are a few things that I noted on. I spoke to a couple of the folks and all I'm doing it around, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, that something definitely has something on papers. I'll put it mm -hmm. out and uh, uh, we'll do something. Okay. But right now the focus is completely to deliver the MVP, which is okay. December. So currently the focus is mostly on that. 
No, I'm I'm very curious to see where this goes, and I would love to have you back again. Maybe like you know, we do this every month on the networking session, so you can come back and like report us back on like your journey, so that we can all learn from that. Also, like please do go to the Telegram channel and put up a uh, you know like post to to link to your uh, you know product hunt page or whatever you have. Um, mm -hmm. I hope you have a landing page at least. I hope you have a landing page at least, like so you, where you can basically like go ahead and and uh, share that over there, so that like people can get some early visibility in case somebody's interested, they can they can sign up for uh, updates or like go to your. Uh, you know, wherever you have the channels for updates, right? Yeah, yeah, we have a basic website built because you have to submit yeah. them to government uh, to get the you know government APIs and everything. So we have the yeah. basic thing built. We need to rework on it, but yeah, I'll definitely submit the basic ones. Sure, sure, yeah, in the Telegram channel, yeah. All right, great. Uh, Subiksha, please go ahead. And also, yeah. by the before Subiksha goes, I would like to remind everybody else: please do raise your hand at the you know uh, at the bottom. You'll see the react button. Please do raise your hand so that you can get in the queue and put yourself out there. And don't waste this opportunity, guys. Like it's so hard to like find a space where you can go and from the comfort of your home, you can talk to a bunch of people who could potentially end up being your connects. Whether you are an aspiring founder, an existing founder, or a or a or an investor, or maybe like a marketing agency looking for startups or whatever it is, it is best in your interest to like and actually put yourself out there so that people can discover you. So do make use of the opportunity to introduce yourself. Don't just be a spectator, a silent spectator in this. Uh, Subiksha, please go ahead. So uh, good morning to everyone. So I'm Subiksha and um, I'm building a tech startup called Learn Moms. And uh, we focus on equipping students and professionals with uh, practical and future ready skills. Like we teach them the coding and foundational tech knowledge. So our mission is to cre create like a uh, uh, we need to make tech education accessible to everyone, uh, irrespective of the uh, of the basic background, what they have. Like, uh, I want to make it more affordable. And also, I want to bridge a gap between the traditional learning and uh, uh, demands that uh, demands of the tech, uh, tech world. And uh, we are in very early stages. And uh, we just started out programs like uh, Python, uh, and and we plan to expand into more advanced top top topics like AI, and I'm here to seek mentorship. Basically, I need mentors from experienced professionals in the field of AI, uh, an ed tech startup, or uh, someone who has been in this field for a very long time, uh, just to understand how a startup works, how a ed tech startup basically works, and to how to in include uh, an uh, AI learning and how to how to basically network and market with them. and and just here to network with the like-minded people wonderful thank you so much uh, subiksha yeah. and just a couple of questions to clarify your your so you said you're where are you based right now uh, i'm from chennai i'm from chennai you're from chennai and and also uh, you, are you working alone or do you have a team that is working on this product uh, i'm working with my partner like i have a partner who is uh, who has a background of uh, chartered accountancy mm -hmm. and uh, he'll be taking care of the finances and i'll be taking care of the tech and marketing okay and and how long have you been doing this uh, i have just started out like uh, two months uh, it's, i just uh, started out my market research and okay. uh, getting to know my audience and what what stage are you in right now? And in the uh, ideation stage. Okay, so yeah. I mean, I I've been in the edtech space. Like, I mean, I, I could say probably not very successfully because uh, we don't have the resources. We are doing it like a non-profit edtech platform, mm -hmm. so we don't have the resources to actually scale up, and it's really hard to get investments for a non-profit product. First of all, mm -hmm. uh, so that is that's the reason why I would uh, I'm, we're kind of like slow. We are still active, but we're kind of like very slow. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but one advice that I would give is like this space is like extremely saturated you have no idea how saturated it is like i i go to events every event i have two people standing up and saying i'm, I'm building an ed tech platform and okay. these are all the people who are invisible there are already people who are visibly doing these things in the ed tech space so it's a, it's a very challenging environment but at the same time there's also a huge market um mm -hmm. so you might have to like you know figure out a way to distinguish yourself from the existing players like things like python I mean, YouTube is probably the best place to learn Python. I mean, I I I I code in Python myself, and I I for me, like you know, YouTube is probably the best. So I, I would that, that's what right. I would recommend like, to anybody. Like one one key distinguisher is like um, I try to connect students with the actual startups. So that's the main main point of our startup. Like uh, I uh, like most of the students are actually paying for the internships, mm -hmm. right? It is not actually useful for them. But there are there are many startups who are actually hiring interns and people students actually don't know about them and want yeah. to create a 
and you know uh, i would, I would also like uh, share from my experience of like hiring interns right uh, <laughs> to me it has been more expensive to hire and train interns than to do it myself to be honest right, you, right. when you when you get somebody with that level of exp- experience and it's not viable to actually use them in a productive way so that is also like a problem point that you might encounter as you go ahead uh, but congratulations for starting up uh, i i mean i hope you're doing this full time because it is going to be a full time yeah. job way. um yeah. So okay, so do let us know how this journey goes. Uh, maybe sure. that you can come back in uh, after a couple of months and see. Tell us how the things go. Yeah, that. Yeah. Um, I would I would like to post my uh, LinkedIn ID and if anyone is interested to collaborate with me, like please give me a connection request. I would sure. love to be back. To you. But also do post it in the Telegram channel. That's where you'll have more people. Right now we have like twenty people over here. Uh, okay. So yeah, sure. Just, yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And also, before the next person goes, I think Nageshwar is next. But before Nageshwar, you go. Like, I want to just remind everybody else that you know, please raise the hand and and do go and introduce yourself. Uh, make use of this opportunity. Yeah, Nageshwar, please go ahead. And also, t- Nageshwar, if you could turn on your camera, that'd be nice. Uh, yeah. So, Raghav, I'm actually uh outside, so mm-hmm. I'm not able to turn on my camera. But no, just no. wanted to you know introduce myself. Uh, this is Nageshwar. You can you can. Uh, now reach out to me on linkedin so i just uh, came to bangalore uh, like 10 days ago and uh, so I, i just happened to see this group and uh, join so basically i'm looking for you know i have overall 13 years of uh, work experience into um, operation management uh, so that that's my expertise and uh, currently i'm working with uh, palo alto technologies it's a cyber security company i've just joined 10 days ago so i'm looking for some startup to be a part of it and uh, wanted to you know uh, grow so i'm i'm looking for some you know new startup where they're looking for uh, anyone who uh, can manage their operation so i can be a part of it and contribute so yeah that's so about what my what kind of uh, skill sets are you bringing to the table uh it's it's basically the operation management and uh, the client management these are the mm-hmm. uh, field which i'm expertise in mm-hmm. okay Yeah, like I said, uh, please do post your requirement in the Telegram channel. That'll be the best place, and you can go to the Telegram channel by going to the Startup Club dot info. You will find the link to everything that we are on over there. Uh, I'll repeat the Startup Club dot info. Yeah, the Startup Club dot. Yeah, perfect. Okay, sure. All right. Uh, so I see a lot of other people in the channel completely muted out, and I would love to have hear you guys uh, hear out from you guys about like what you do. and i see a lot of people like posting in the chat um, i will not be reading out from the chat so it's best you 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 know you you turn turn on the cam and like start speaking or or turn on the mic and start start speaking who would like to go next hey hi raga okay abhirup you can go next uh, satish maybe you can just raise your hand uh, we'll yeah. get you next okay abhirup please go ahead sorry i am not able to open my camera uh, but i will uh, give a short intro so i am uh, i am abhirup like uh, i am working in the uh, like technology for around 6 uh, years of experience and uh, previously i have uh, started my own startup like uh, for around 1 uh, year i have i have ran it uh, but it was not very successful Uh, it was on the personal productivity uh, like i built a personal productivity application uh, uh, but uh, so now currently i am working at mondi i have i'm a senior front end developer and but i also built like uh, full stack applications for my own startup and previously also in work while working in other companies so i am here to uh, connect with people and uh, know about what they are building uh, mm. yeah that's it and what is your stack currently i am working in react then uh, on like on the front end react typescript and on the back end it next js node js node js okay yeah and a little bit of golang also okay yeah, because like we are actually looking for people uh, so uh, like I, i was mentioning I, i'm not sure if you were there but like i was introducing myself and i was explaining the product that we are building we are building a saas product um it's uh, it's a b2c product and it's 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 about like connecting the members of the startup ecosystem to other people like right? other people looking for founders so for example we'll we're we're helping founders look for co-founders founders mm-hmm. look for like technical people to be part of their team or legal services any kind of service provider or like connecting with the investors so we are trying to like create a marketplace for all of the people to come to one place and find each other 
um so if anybody is interested we are actually looking for people with uh, with that skill set we use expo uh, react native for the front end and then django for the back end so if anybody is interested in gaining experience um working with an early stage startup we are we are like a month away from launch uh, but we have a we need we have a requirement of like developing things ultra fast pace so we are actually trying to like uh, get more people on board but we don't have the budget so we we can't really go on a hiring spree right now uh, we are probably like 6 months away from generating revenue or like at, at least finding a different source of revenue uh, different source of like uh, capital so if anybody is looking for experience and and they're trying to like you know uh, understand how a startup actually scales up and you have the right skill sets to actually contribute i would love to hear from you you can you can reach out to me on telegram i'm the admin for the startup group the startup club group um, on telegram you can just like message me dm me on telegram and also i'll also share my linkedin in the chat so that like people can um, message me over there but yeah thanks a lot um, abhirup um, satish please go ahead Yeah. Uh, good morning, Raghav, and uh, good morning, everyone. So my name is Satish. I'm from Chennai. So I have a decade of experience in automotive industry. So mostly into automation, and currently I'm leading the uh, AI activities here. So uh, the reason for me to be here is uh, I'm planning to reach out to people and uh, founders and uh, start as a consultant. Uh, initially, and uh, I have uh, uh, the experience in automation, AI, ML, uh, model building, and also uh, we for whatever requirement we had, we can build. Uh, we have built uh, uh, our own uh, web apps and stuff. So, so though it's not uh, completely a production ready one, but we can build MVPs. So, my intention here is to connect with people and uh, have the network going and. Uh, involved in brainstorming and discussing ideas okay so uh, are you looking for would you say you're looking for clients or like customers for your services yes yeah okay. i would like to uh, become a consultant mm. okay okay thanks a lot satish like please do share your uh, things in the um, in the telegram channel so that like, people can reach out to you if you if they are uh, interested yeah. yeah yeah just uh, can you share the telegram link Yes, I I told you right. The the startup club dot info is the website link, and you over there you'll find all the links to every oh. everything that we have. Okay, so just go to the startup club dot info. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a okay. lot, um, Satish. Yeah, Godwin, please go ahead. You're on mute, by the way, Godwin. Hi everyone. I'm Godwin. I'm the president from Kenya. Your your voice is very low. Can you like bring the mic closer or something? So hi everyone, I'm Gordon. I'm a student in Kenya, and I have a question for you. No, you we can't hear you, Gordon. Uh, the can you try a different mic or something? So hi everyone. Can you hear me now? No, it's still like there's some issue with your audio. We we can't hear you properly. Maybe you can try again. You can fix the things, and you can come back again. Um. Uh, We'll go to the next person, Mutalagan Mutalagu. We can go next. Uh, hi, hi all. Yeah. I'm Sir, um, based from Chennai. So <clears throat> basically, I'm I'm into uh, technology stuff, and uh, I've been working in a tech company for some years. And uh, yeah, uh, I here actually I'm here for looking for some networking, and uh, I can connect with some colleagues or. People who can share with my ideas, and I I have a lot of quite a lot of ideas, like some three or four ideas. Uh, trying to uh, get into business, like trying to uh, build some startup, and I'm looking for people whom with whom I can share my ideas as well as uh, get their ideas, and uh, also I can contribute uh, strategically in operations. And uh, if it if it is in the case of remote work, I can uh, definitely do some. Um, uh, help for them, and in in, in that is uh, mainly related with operations and management and uh, client uh, relationship and thing with that. And uh, coming to my background, I'm I'm from technical side, so basically I'm I'm doing as automation engineer here. So, uh, but always I've been imagining myself as an uh, sort of founder or an entrepreneur. So yeah, that's about it. Okay, 
wonderful thanks a lot mutharagan um yeah and by the way guys like we have like 20 minutes left in this call so if you are if you are like waiting for the right chance that, that now is the time um please do raise your hand and then start speaking put yourself out there even if you're not really like for example mutharag he didn't he's an aspiring founder right um he didn't really have a uh, have anything immediately in progress he had some ideas so even if that's the case like even if you don't even have an idea and you're just like trying to be an entrepreneur just put yourself out there that's the first step because i've seen so many people coming to networking events and they're so quiet and shy they don't they they have a certain desire but they don't really speak don't be that person if you want to be an entrepreneur you have to be proactive you have to like you know put yourself out there first that's the first least thing you can do so if you any of you any of you sitting here very shy or something please don't be like that do do uh, express yourself uh, lakshman please go ahead Hi Raghav, I hope Hi. my voice is audible. Yes, yes. Is it clear? Yes. Everyone. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Raghav. Thank you so much. So, I am an aspiring entrepreneur, and I really don't have any experience with any of this business and startup stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I've just started yesterday, and I was going through some communities where I can join and meet like-minded people. So that's mm -hmm. where I stumbled upon our. startup club joined here and came here i do have one idea which i want to implement but i don't have the ways to execute it i am trying okay. to connect with people who can help me out in executing this idea mm -hmm. so it's like uh, i am trying to solve a problem where there are a lot of engineering students coming out every year who don't really have skills to get mm -hmm. a job mm -hmm. and they will have high high goals like they want to go abroad and do something but they don't really have the skills so that's the bridge i want to build where our company will be able to give the actual industry level skills to them and moving forward we will be concentrating on making people ai artificial intelligence knowledgeable so this is the main okay. focus so any industry like right now i will be focusing on software industry where we will provide a boot camp in this boot camp they will learn everything related to web development and uh, app development mobile development everything with artificial intelligence powered right? like mm -hmm. they will learn everything related to artificial intelligence on top of what they want to build so this is the idea and i do have a plan but uh, i don't have actual execution ways and a motivation along with me i cannot do it alone because this is yeah. really a big idea which i cannot do it alone i am trying to find a person who is having same mindset like me and uh, start some business make okay. some better way okay a couple of questions where are you based right uh, sorry i have to introduce myself My full name is Lakshman Kumar, and I am currently in Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh. I am okay. working as a Java full stack development. I cannot say full stack. I am a semi full stack developer. I know the front end things, and mostly my work will be on back end databases and okay. AWS, all this stuff. My location is Bangalore, but currently I am working from home. Side okay. by side on weekends, I am. learning about business and you know everything okay so do you have a full time job you're doing yes okay so your 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 thing is we want to educate people about like how to build their own applications and things like this and you would you're trying to create the model of like creating boot camps uh, where they can come and learn these things yeah the basic idea is like we will be a company where we will hire the people who want to get job into software industry mostly related to artificial intelligence ai engineers mm -hmm. so the boot camp will be completely related to web development or uh, uh, any artificial intelligence related application development we will hire these people like a software company we don't take any requirements like we don't mm -hmm. look up around their background you have mm -hmm. skills can you do coding are you mm -hmm. interested and are you able to take the pressure and work for 18 hours straight per day we will test these hours. kind of things yeah we will test these kind of things yeah if required 
see that it's like that's like that leaves that leaves like six hours for re- remaining things like taking a shower eating sleeping yeah in it's between it's flexible right so see there's the catch here even if you are flexible you are taking half an hour break one hour break it's fine but if the yeah. work demands you should be able to work 18 hours straight with little okay. gaps in between okay and and how are you plan to monetize this who will be paying the participant itself okay who we hire we mm. will train them we will not mm. take a single rupee from them mm-hmm. we will be training them giving them knowledge right once they mm. we, we give them the knowledge we will test them like mm. they are able to do the work under pressure or not if they are able to do the work we will be placing them to other companies where there is a need so from that company we will take the money of mm. around for example 8 lakhs mm. we will give 4 lakhs to this person mm. okay okay all right all the best uh, hope you find the right person but do you have a if you have a clarity on like what kind of a person what kind of a skill sets they they should have who would be helping you out uh, please yeah, post them in the uh, in the right, telegram uh, channel yeah got it got it thanks for the question the basically right i come from a middle class background and i do not have kind of financial support it would be helpful for me if i get someone who can invest along with me and stay mm-hmm. with me for a long time right see uh, you know so. this uh, this i see a lot um, and the realistic advice that i have for you is that nobody is going to give you money for a promise especially when you have mm-hmm. no prior experience or a product or a traction even or a product market fit anything uh so you you have like nothing right now and if you're looking for yes. money that that is a re- unrealistic expectation even if somebody does come with that it it is it is it is not going to be viable for them i would advise advise against anybody coming to invest in a in a product without any anything to show for just on, a, mm-hmm. on the basis of a promise so that is where the business model really comes into play where how are you going to generate the early revenue to actually build this model up so you need to figure out a way okay like maybe mm-hmm. instead of starting off with the with the newbies and and not not charging them maybe either you can charge them and get them on board or you can have like exp- experienced people who can create who can take on client projects and generate revenue and using that you can train the uh, newbies so something like that you have to figure out a way to solve the problem without like looking for the money like you know i'm just i'm just sitting there waiting for money to come otherwise i can't start don't be that you know that's my advice to you uh, but Got hopefully it. all the best for that yeah i think yeah, godwin you you've, you've joined back do uh, you want to try again also like uh, if anybody else wants to go ahead we only have like 10 more minutes uh, i would i would urge you to like use this time properly um i think some of the people haven't really said anything so i would love to hear from you i think jn irav um siddharth you guys want to go next Yes, uh, hi Raghav. I am a small doubter. Who is speaking? Mutar. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, so at the end of the session, if you could explain how you started this, and uh, since you said you have uh, almost a ten years of experience and you left the job and uh, you just uh, found the startup, so it will be helping a lot of people to uh, uh, have financial backup plan after leaving a job and yeah. you know, trying to have a startup. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'll, I will, I will explain. Maybe I'll, I'll let Godwin speak, and then I'll, I'll maybe explain that. Godwin, please go ahead. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Now Hello, we can hear you. Can... Yeah. Now we can be okay. hear you. Yeah. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Godwin. I'm a medical student. In, I'm from Kenya. I have passion in entrepreneurship. Um, I don't have uh, an idea yet. I'm still discovering more about the startup ecosystem. um i have learned i have developed some skills in react and nojs a little bit that uh, did some projects but i want to delve into the startup community so i don't know i just want to learn more the the more i get to network with the people here okay wonderful are, are you looking for maybe like an internship or something like that what how are you planning to learn more yeah from experience yeah internship maybe to join a startup um an early early stage startup to be able to to gain some experience and yeah to learn the dynamics of how a, a company starts 
Yeah, and and how much time would you be able to devote to such an internship if somebody is there? Let's say there's um, a company. Yeah. Huh. Since since I'm in medical school and it's sort of demanding, it could be like some part time thing. But if it is development, I know I can be able to to develop uh, to to put aside some time. Yeah, so I'll I'll tell you my experience as a founder uh, hiring interns, right? I I I until recently I had like several you know like several dozens of interns. I had like up to uh-huh. like a hundred interns at one point, and you uh-huh. know we had I mean obviously all of, not all of them are developers. They were they were like in different different uh, teams. Like one of some of them were designers, some of them were front end developers, uh-huh. some of them were back end developers, some of them are like in research, some of them are in marketing uh-huh. and all these things. what i've noticed is that like a lot of training and a lot of like effort goes into like training these people and a lot of the times they Ash. end up like ditching halfway because like they're not able to sustain that multiple thing like Ash. you know they, you're doing one thing you're student and then you're you're also doing an internship it becomes very unsustainable uh-huh. and then what ends up usually happening is that they they do the internship for a couple of months get trained and then they drop off and it's a, it's a huge uh, pr- productivity loss for our company as we are doing this so Ash. Uh, uh-huh. For people who are looking for uh, leveraging interns, it's a, it's almost honestly a hit or miss because like some I've I've had like good interns that I've actually ended up hiring. Uh, so you will find uh-huh. like people who are do, doing that if you are if you are doing these large scale internship programs. But um, uh-huh. it is a hit or miss, and recently we've stopped doing that because we've managed to gather a decent sized team uh, from the uh-huh. internships. Uh, so like you know they'll do like a six month internship unpaid, and then like eventually they get to I get to a point where I I realize their value, and then I'll hire them. Uh-huh. Um, so uh-huh. that's how it's been going on. So now that I have a full full time team, I don't see the need for an internship. But uh, these are challenges that that happens when you when you go to an internship. So if somebody for somebody like you, I would advise that make yourself valuable to a point where a company feels like it would be handicapped if you if you leave. Uh-huh. Then they would have no okay. other choice to just like you know hire you. Don't be like a slacker uh-huh. if you're doing these internships. Even if it's unpaid, give your fullest, uh-huh. and it would it would give you the uh-huh. best results. So that would be my small Thank advice. You. Yeah. and to answer uh, mutalik's question like you know how did i get started up uh, so we have a few minutes i'll i'll maybe explain that so uh, last year i you know like i got told by somebody that you know i had to socialize more um because like i was just like you know i was working full time i was like making 2 lakhs a month and i was um, working remotely and i had a good good lifestyle uh, i enjoyed my job my colleagues were great everything was great and i had i always had the idea that i would start, i would do a startup at some point now you know what what ended up happening is that like i always thought that i would do it maybe 2 years down the line uh where i've accumulated enough savings and then you know it 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 um, it would get to give me a good runway so that i can do it and because somebody told me that you know that i should probably socialize more i started doing this networking thing i i went to online groups and i started meeting up with people and i didn't really find high quality events like i kind of kind of like what we are doing here i we are having like a fast pace like in multiple people coming and sharing their perspectives and this is an easy way for you to discover all these people so this is a, i would i would consider this like a decent quality of a free event right um so i started doing this because i was the only i, I saw that i was the only probably the only one doing it for free for for a long period of time so i started getting into it and started running it i i've been meeting a lot of founders every month Uh, in in meetings like this as well as like other meetings that we conduct throughout the month and what i realized is that like i see a lot of pain points in in um, in in these founders and all these other people who come in and there is no elegant solution for all of these requirements for every everybody that came in and shared their requirements there is no elegant solution so that is what prompted me to actually develop a product this specific, specifically to solve this problem uh, but the actual transition from going from working full time to doing the startup came because i met so many people through networking that some of them started to intern with me they want to know if I, they, they can work with me to sort of uh, expand their skills these were like students or like early graduates uh, looking for some experience and they started you know because i had some ideas i thought i'll put them to use and i will started working on some product development and it started getting really exciting for me and i started seeing uh, less and less value in actually being a full time employee Uh, because like, it's it's a it's a grind every time you're working with some for somebody else it's a grind and it's it's not a very pleasant experience even if you're getting a high paying job and you have the freedom and all these things it's really challenging to enjoy it uh, over a long period of time so i i've started have uh, seeing the fun in being an entrepreneur and i just uh, took the jump uh, i was supposed to quit like couple of years da- down i just quit like about this time last year 
and I started with my I set up my company legally registered it in March this year. Uh, so I've been doing it. And for the early stage funding, this is a tricky thing. I did have some uh, you know funds saved up. I had a few lakhs of money that was saved up, and I've been using that. I I've, I've been running a very lean operation until recently, and now that we have a solid product in the works, then I started putting my money in. Until until like you know maybe like a couple of months ago, I was running the entire show using like unpaid interns. So I was just like guiding them to build things and I, they were like, you know, building certain things. Uh, but once we started getting into serious product development, we had to develop it at pace. So the, I started uh, hiring my team a couple of months ago and I've been using my savings that I've been accumulating for the, uh, for the time I've been working in the past few years. So that is going into, into, into uh, giving the salaries for my team. And we are, like I said, six months away from like any, any realistic point of like generating revenue out of our product. Uh, and actually the, this whole bootstrap model of doing things is actually very helpful in my mind, because like the moment you have like the pressure of having to generate revenue out of your product, you start working extra hard, you know, like you, you stop like giving, um, you know, like slack and, and you stop like, you know, falling back on your security because I see a lot of people, uh, they have their fallback mechanisms. They, they're too afraid to take a risk like, like this. So they, they have their fallback mechanism, which actually slows down their product development. So that's one thing that, that we are, we are taking, doing differently. I mean, um, I can't guarantee that this is a successful model because we have to see a successful outcome out of this. So it's a very risky thing, but I enjoy taking risks, which is the reason why I'm doing it like this, because like, I don't want to have another boss in my life ever. That's my goal that I've set for myself as I quit my job. I don't want anybody else telling me how to spend my time, not an investor, not a, not a client, nothing. I want to, uh, build this B2C product so that I can get, I can create a product of value for customers and they start paying because of the value that they're seeing in using the product. That way, you know, like I, I run my time. I am the owner of my schedule and that is my ideal goal that where I'm generating revenue and I'm the owner of my schedule and I have a team that is executes my vision. So this is my ideal stay, uh, stage I want to be in. And I've, because I've saved up enough to actually pro propel this runway for six months, we are making the bet that we, that we can actually do this. Uh, let's see. I mean, if this fails, I have I don't know what I'll do, but we'll I'll probably I'm pretty resourceful, so I'll probably figure something out. I'll, I, I, the the worst case scenario is I can go back to the job industry and find another job. Uh, but I am pretty confident that I won't I won't get that because like I've I've done the proper research on the market for this product and I have a very solid design innovation that is in place. Uh, so for anybody any of you looking uh, you know looking to know more about the product we're building. Uh, I would advise you to go to uh, startupclub.app and I'm going to share a QR code for those of you who want to scan this and go to the landing page. So you can actually go to this. Okay. I think it's, uh... okay. I think it's just like not because of the background blur. It's not showing this, but I'll just like put the link to our landing page for our app in the chat. You guys can go and sign up for the wait list and you'll be notified when we launch the app. Because like that, to anybody in this call, it's going to be very helpful for you to have this platform because like it'll help you find the right network. So go to st uh, startupclub.app and you'll go to our landing page and you can enter your email ID and get notified when we launch. So you can use uh, start using a product. Um, yeah, so that's my journey. I hope that answers your question, Muthalagu. Um, Hari Haran, please go ahead. Yeah, you can able to see the screen. Yes, yes. Uh, sorry, I was in travel. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, I am Ari. So, I am from Chennai. So, native is Tirchi. So, I am doing a uh, wedding photography for, uh, from uh, 2017. And uh, past two years, I am doing wedding event management. Uh, my special is uh, I am giving uh, budget-friendly things and uh, every entertaining like 360-degree uh, camera. So, these things, uh, instant photo booth. So, from uh, A to Z, uh, stage decorations we are doing and uh, with a uh, uh, client requirement we are doing as a uh, as the requirements like uh, every big setup we are doing and also cor corporate events we are focusing so every marriage events and everything we are doing a perfect uh, team we are having five teams are totally we are having in chennai and uh, madurai so three three places i am having in bangalore also one team is there so we are doing continuously we are doing and also still uh, i got two, two orders like uh, uh, last month I did in near Madurai, so it's going good. And uh, March also two events is there, so keep supporting friends. 
Raghav, uh, thank you for this opportunity and everything and uh, for the successful uh, your startup company also. So yeah. this is the uh, first time I uh, came to meet you. So glad yeah. to meet. Thank you so much. Sure. Yeah. Thank you so much, Hariharan. Uh, all the best for your business as well. So we are reaching the end of the session. I want to give like chance to at least one more person who wants to go ahead and speak. If you want to do it, please, this is your ch last chance. Uh, after this, we're going to close the call. So one more person like this is Dartan Irab. Um, you guys uh, haven't gone ahead. Yes, Raga, one minute. Uh, yeah. And also, I'm a freelancer. So last two weeks before I quit my job uh, from Siemens Bangalore. So now focusing on business and also supporting my friend, like uh, he's in, into the innovative robotics systems. So he doing a 3D printer manufacturing company. So in India, uh, we are uh, uh, keeping coming up uh, for uh, we are having clients tube in India, Murugappa. We are providing some uh, sensors, like uh, every sensors we are pro providing and uh, keep supporting our office in Chennai itself. If there are any doubts or anything, uh, you can call me, contact me. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, please, Take yeah. care. Do, uh, do post it on the Telegram channel so that people looking for that can, can reach out. Yes, 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 yeah. sure. Thank you. All right. Looks like nobody else uh, wants to go ahead. So we'll close it here. Thanks a lot for joining, guys. Uh, we'll we'll have like you, know, you can go to our meetup page to see some of our upcoming events. We have like a, every three three Sundays out of the four Sundays in the month we have events. Uh, we have like pitch workshops. We have uh, brainstorming sessions and we have networking sessions like these. So if you want to join one of those, you can you can find all the details in the meetup meetup uh, page, and all the details are in the our official website, which is the startup club dot info. Um, so hope you, uh, hope we can see you next time. Um, thanks a lot for joining in. Have a great Sunday. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.